<laughs> oh, boys, we're here. What? We are here. Hi. What the heck? I can, like... <laughs> I is... can touch you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. My scar. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, <laughs> <I> dearie. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Long time no physically seen. Hi, guys! <laughs> Hi, guys! Hi! <laughs> Multicam, we're doing the whole thing! That's uh, right. Welcome to the Black Wolves Podcast. I am Jeremy Van Suarez. I'm Jacob Wade. And I'm Logan Riley Bruner. And baby, this is a special episode. This is a fully vaccinated podcast right here. Who do I look at? Do I look at you? Do I look at you? I'm going to look at you. 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 Ah! you. <laughs> Housekeeping to do. Well, we are moving into summer. Which summer. Is summer. 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 Don't get us the MCA. Uh, <laughs> we're moving into summer. We're moving into summer. We're starting to work on a couple projects that we've been talking about a lot. Officially, season two of the acoustic covers is happening. Jacob and Jeremy are actually this weekend while we're filming this podcast filming one. So yeah. we're putting a bunch of stuff together. We're very excited about it. We're excited to bring you some hint, new tracks. Hint. Ooh, we got a little hint, hint. Show it, to the, show it to the camera. I already did, baby, but I'll show it again. Again. Ooh, cheese! Uh, cheese! We're very excited. Acoustic covers <laughs> is one of the things that started us off, so we're thrilled to be going back to that. We've got a short film in the works that I am contacting a bunch of people about a uh, crew for. We've got a web series that we're doing. It's a lot of fun. We're really excited. The big update, though, for this specific episode and the reason that we're doing it in person is um, Jeremy's... Jeremy's leaving. He's leaving for the summer, guys. Don't it's worry. Yeah, back. a whole summer. A whole I, summer. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Can you believe that we're going to be going this whole summer without Jeremy? It's like, the, without it's seeing him in person. It's just going to be, gonna be weird. it's not even going to be FaceTimes because this guy won't have. No service. Yeah, service. just some just some limited Wi-Fi. Uh, I guess I should probably explain why I'm going. Yes, yeah, please. What's going on? Um, this summer, I will be cabin counselor slash theater director at Camp Balabay. It is a, uh, a performing arts camp uh, in Pennsylvania. They have a rock program, they have an acting program, they have a dance program, they have a theater program. And I will be directing a couple musicals, um, you know, directing the little kitties, getting them to bring their talent out. And yeah, I'm really excited. I've never directed a musical before, so. You're gonna do great. You're gonna yeah. kill it. Starting the career of future superstars. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. a good way of putting it. Yeah. Um, they're going to look back and they're going to go, man, I remember Jeremy Suarez. He was my director at, at that camp that I went to. That's what inspired me to be an artist. Yeah. And that's like really what I want like as an artist for like inspiration. It's just yeah. inspiring the youth, man. Yeah. Exactly. Do for others what they did for us. Exactly. Yeah. You know when it like came to my music when people were like, dude, like I want to start making music now because I heard because you can do it. And I'm just like, that means like so much. Yeah, so, didn't your able... little cousin say that? Yeah, my little cousin <laughs> said that. And like, so like just to be able to inspire a new generation of artists, it's going to be very fulfilling Great for the summer. For sure. In addition as to why we'll be able to be part of the podcast, uh, you know, it's, it's the type of camp where it's like we want to limit the internet connectivity. We want to limit the social media. You know, we want to all be together presently you know, you know sleep away camp exactly and we need that we need that after the the crazy year pandemic that we have that's still going on yeah being mm -hmm. able to like just make a podcast in the same room as you guys is very odd it's yeah incredible. it's weird it's a really cool feeling like this is awesome to get yeah. to do but like the fact that we can interrupt each other now and like it'll be fine ah! <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of spooky. Uh, Very spooky. But yeah, I'm I'm super excited. Uh, I'll be it sad to uh, leave my my fellow Black Wolves for the summer. I never been to sleepaway camp, and I didn't think that my first time would be on the educational side of it. Yeah. So, yeah. can you talk a little bit about the shows that you're planning on directing, or is that like uh, NDA hush hush? No, it's not NDA. Uh, but I'll I'll talk about one of them. Uh, it's yeah. a show that I've just gotten to know recently. Mm -hmm. It's called The Theory of Relativity, Music and Lyrics by Neil Bartram and book by Brian Hill. It's a song cycle uh, and it basically asks the question, how do we as human beings connect uh, in a modern world? Um, although upon listening to it over and over again recently, I think I'm gonna pivot it to how do we reconnect 
after having to be separated for so long. For sure. Which I think once I realized that was the direction that I was going to pivot the show in, uh, it made me like really emotional. I remember mm-hmm. listening to one of the songs and like actually like starting to cry because I was like, holy shit, like just being able to like look and just be like, hi. Yeah. Just be able to like talk to people again and connect with them without this this barrier between us whether it be you know the barrier of a, of a mask or the barrier of zoom i'm really excited it has a bunch of different points of view lots of different representation nice. yeah you know it's gonna be some dancing there's gonna be some some heartbreaking moments some hard truths but valuable lessons to learn um yeah i'm super excited yeah I'm, I'm happy for you. I think I think it's really interesting to be able to do a show about reconnecting mm-hmm. after this kind of pandemic. I was on set working on something a little while ago, and I dapped somebody for the first time in like <laughs> months. Yeah, just a nice solid like. Yeah. It's just it's so satisfying, it and like that first one, it was so instinctual to do it, and then I realized after it happened how long it had been, yeah. and I like almost started crying because I was Aww. like. That was such a simple, like, such a simple human act. interaction yeah. that was just, like, meant so much because it's been so long. It's crazy. Man, I feel like in 2016, like, I just dapped everyone up that mm-hmm. I saw. Like, even if I didn't know them that well, yes. I'd just be like, dap, dap, dap. Oh, what's hey, up? Hey, what's like, up? What's good? Hey, what's good? What's good? Dap. Like, you would just walk past someone, like, on your college campus and be like, dap, dap, dap. Because you, like, knew them in passing. Yeah. And you were like, oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, I'm cool with you. Yeah. Dap. Yeah. Have but, a good like, day, man. We just went through, like, a solid, like, year and a half with, like, no daps. No yeah. daps. Nuts. Zero daps. No daps, no hugs. It's like no, a bacon, egg, and cheese with no bev. You need the bev. You need the bev. How am I supposed to eat my bacon and cheese without my bev? Oh, you forgot the eggs, but... Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> bacon and cheese. <laughs> bacon and cheese. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But, yo, Jeremy, you were showing us some of the music last night. And it's great. It's great. And I feel like especially... Like, these kids will listen to this music through the new lens that is 2020 2021 and these songs they really do hit different once you add that like extra filter on mm-hmm. top of them yeah. yeah once you once you bring once you like relate it to like what's actually going on in the world it takes on a strange new life it's yeah. it's definitely a really cool show i'm glad that you showed it to us it's uh, yeah there maybe, are a few songs that i would love to perform maybe a black wolves production at some point mm. in the future it's mm. very possible hey will if you're watching this i want to perform at least two of these yeah, songs maybe even so. like some acoustic covers ah, that's yeah. possible fun. i've it's never done fun. musical theater acoustically but it's not to say that it's not possible yeah. we can very totally do that very doable. It's doable. exactly i don't really think there's anything else we need to update people on we've got really? some stuff that's like in talks but we have been very careful up to this point about announcing things prematurely because we used to do that a lot yeah. so we're, we're trying to keep everything a little hush which is difficult for me because I'm always the person that wants to share everything that uh, you really are I this, am this, <laughs> this fucking guy I'm the guy that's like I want to talk about it yeah. um, but Keeping it quiet means that we keep the excitement rolling and we're excited about that. So uh, if you want to see any Black Wolf stuff, go check out the things that are on our YouTube. That's right. And There's a lot there. <laughs> but you know what? Over the summer, while Jeremy's gone, we're going to be working More podcasts so hard. still, yeah. Yeah. We're going to be prepping podcasts, acoustic covers, and some shorts. Yeah, a bunch of great stuff coming. Yeah. Let's not give away too many details. We can't tell mm. you too much. Yeah. But we're working on a lot and it feels good to be learning and growing and creating yeah it's just really i think it's really nice what we're doing me too i'm excited i feel great yeah it feels good to be working yeah again you know doing doing what we love we're working and at the same time we're watching we're consuming some new That's stuff right. there's yeah. some really awesome trailers that came out inspired. recently yeah. yes by yeah. some new new movie trailers exactly new things coming out there's some things coming out this week that we're excited about specifically the conjuring Three, the devil made me do it, which I'm very excited for. I'm a super Conjuring fan. I do um, really like the Conjuring series. And then Vivo with Lin Manuel Miranda and uh, Brian Tyree Henry. That's an animated musical to warm the soul. Yeah, both of those come out this week. There were a couple other films that came out, and while normally I do do the whole let's <laughs> share everything that's coming out this week, I really did not have time to go through a bunch of trailers. Yeah, so I just... grabbed the things that I, I I've seen and thought looked cool. Conjuring Three, of course, is the third in the Conjuring series, but it's not actually the third in the Conjuring series. It's like the ninth. Oh yeah, because it was like Annabelle. It was like Conjuring, oh, Annabelle, right. Conjuring Two, Annabelle Two, La Llorona, Curse of La Llorona, Annabelle Three. <laughs> so it's the seventh. Um, Conjuring Three, The Devil Made Me Do It. 
Looks very, very good. Patrick Wilson is someone who I'm a huge fan of. I He's love good. Vera Farmiga. Is that Farmiga. 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 Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. She's great. And Kills it. so is uh, so is and Ta- Taisa, Teresa. Her little sis. Her sister. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Her story. Yeah. yeah. I love both of them. Yeah, I love Farmiga the Farmiga family. Yeah, I love the Farmiga, Farmiga family. The Farmiga familia. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get another musical from Lin Manuel Miranda. So you know that's always going to be a fun little animated time. It's confirmed a musical. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course. It's Lin Manuel. It's Lin. I mean, you've seen. He still plays the trailer. a singing monkey. The Come singing on, monkey. it's going to be yeah. so cute. It's totally. going to be an adorable little show. Did he uh, write the music? I'm not sure. I think he's just starring in it. All right. I'm with it. I wouldn't be surprised if he wrote the music. Me either. He usually has his hand in that area when he's in it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. He's got his hand in so many, I want to say pockets, but... Pies? Barrels. 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 Buckets. Yeah. Vats. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing a lot. He's doing a lot. You know, that's where we That's where we want to be eventually. Exactly. We want Shout to... out Lynn, fellow New Yorker. I think he went to Hunter College High School and taught there. Yeah. Before hitting it big. Really so solid artist. Shout out that guy. Man. Oh. Other trailers that we're excited for because they came out this week. Uh, we've got The Last Night in Soho, which is Ooh. one of our favorite director, uh, yes. Edgar Wright's yes. first psychological thriller. Stars Anya Taylor Joy, who mm. uh, I know me and Jacob, and I'm pretty sure Jeremy are all huge fans of. We love Anya Taylor Joy yeah. in this Anya house. Joy is amazing. Yeah. Um, I still haven't finished The Queen's Gambit. I you what? You have to. <laughs> Wait, what? So after the podcast, we're going to just. I uh, guess we got to watch. Queen's Gambit yeah, now. Queen's Gambit. I think it's How the last never... two episodes. That oh my watch. goodness. It's, Dude, what? Oh, I don't want to say where I'm at, just in case spoilers, but. Someone, someone comes back, and Dude, then that's I'm where I stop so watching. I'm so confused. How could you just stop watching that? It's a tough show to watch sometimes. But. It was only really the first episode that I got. I do. What, like, You've got like two left. That's where it like what really was happening? picks up. I think maybe I started watching Jujutsu Kaisen. And Possibly. then after that it was F1. <laughs> okay. And now it's still F1. And then we were busy at Fire Island. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, listen, we're working boys. We're busy. Exactly. Boys. We're working. We're putting that degree to use. Who says a theater degree is useless? <laughs> oh, it's not. It's, it's treating not. us well. It's, I feel like it's treating us well because of the connections we made, yeah. for sure. But and our here's the thing is that well. we knew going into college that it was going to be the connections yeah. from the start. I think that's something like, that a lot of people don't really realize about like getting a theater degree, is that, like yeah, you're going to learn some useful theater skills, but the most useful thing is going to be the people you meet. The connections you make. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but like more theater programs need to teach the business. About yeah, it. you're like one hundred percent. You're kind of networking before you realize what networking, what networking is. is yeah. You know, I'd like to say thank you to Aryan Moyad for teaching us about networking and the business side of theater early. Yeah. Um, and for introducing the class artist as citizen to PPAS's repertoire, if only for the year that we had him. As I, our think, I think. I think they're I'm pretty sure continued we on. I don't. Well, I've talked about the class artist as citizen to other PPAS alum, and they don't know what that is. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe they renamed it because I feel like Heather Lanza picked it up. Okay. And like kept teaching something similar, but not yeah. like the same class. But I'm so thankful for him for that whole class because in college, I was expecting that I'd get like a theater business type. How do you make headshots? That's, a, that's How do you a whole do different resumes? major. Yeah, right? arts management. Right. But, like, arts management, for me, because I was an arts management yes, major, I was please. an arts management major, yeah. is all about managing business in arts, not, like, being a business person as well, an artist. I mean, you are a business. I mean, but, it's, but <laughs> yeah. it's not like, here's... Arts management was never about, like, here's how you do headshots and resumes, here's how no, you network. It right. was like, here's how you run a non-for-profit theater company. Right. Here's how you do marketing for non-for-profit theater. Here's how you do... Here's how you get grants. Yeah. It was never, like... Here's how you meet people and get them to want to cast you in things. Here's how you make connections without yeah. being desperate. Here's how, like... Here's how you conduct yourself as an artist in the world. Here's what you say and what you don't say. Here are the ways that you approach people and don't approach yeah. people. Here's how opportunities I work. think some, exactly. of, some of the theaters, uh, some of the teachers that I'm most grateful for in my life are teachers who didn't sugarcoat things and teachers who told us that, like, listen, this is how the real world works. Like, sure, like know your theater history and like know your Ibsen and your, know your Shakespeare Ibsen and your Shakespeare and, and your Meisner and whatever whatever but like this is actually how the theater world works Pe- and you should know this going into it otherwise you're going to be a fish out of water yeah people aren't looking at BA in theater they're looking at SUNY Purchase they're going oh you went there mm-hmm. yeah. not oh you studied theater 
Yeah, 100%. The teachers you had, the connections you made, the place that you're from is the most important thing. Yeah. We were talking about movies, though. Yes, we were. What? <laughs> uh, we were talking last about last night, night in Soho. Soho. It looks spooky. Oh. A lot of red and blue lighting. Love the lighting. And yeah. uh, Edgar some, Wright, the king of transitions. And some some timey wimey bullshit going on with Matt Smith, the former Doctor Who. I know. Matt Smith, the former. Yeah, right. Isn't that funny how that all works out? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Cool. The plot seems to be like out of place. Girl finds herself back in time. Yeah. Uh, I wish Channeling I could... like a uh, in. Yeah. Old soul? Or like yeah, channeling old soul, like, becoming living in her, body, or yeah. maybe she's becoming her, like, I don't know. Of course, ghosts come back, and the past comes, you. Yeah. comes back to haunt you. When you let the past in, the truth will come out. Come out. That's the, the trailer tagline. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks spooky. I am super There's excited. like, only that. one spoken line in the whole trailer. Yeah, the Everything rest is Anya Taylor-Joy singing. Yeah. yeah. She's singing, um... Downtown. Um, yeah, um, 60s vibes. Things yeah. will be great. Hey, yeah, as soon as I saw Sean Connery in Thunderball, I was like, ooh. We're back in time. Yeah. And and knowing Edgar Wright, the production value is going to be great. And like, the, music, gonna, the music is going to be We're going to watch crucial. the movie and we're going to be like, I'm in the 60s right now. Yeah. yeah I love There's that. no doubt about it. Honestly, and it's on a different topic, me and my mom started watching Mindhunter again. I feel that same way about that show, where mm. I'm just like, this is, yeah. this is the 1960s. Yeah. This is... I feel that way about uh, Stranger Things. Yeah, a hundred percent. They do a really, really great job in their set dressing. It's fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah. I can't oh, wait show. to see this next season. Me too. Out. It's gonna be, great, it's gonna be a it? really great yeah, season. It's I'm very they've been teasing it. They've been teasing it. They've been teasing, they've been teasing it. it for a minute. Yeah. I remember finishing season three and being like, "Oh, season four. That just looks. That's gonna be great." I know. And a teaser for season four actually came out pretty yeah, soon recently. after. Yeah. Well, I was going to say pretty soon after season three dropped, they... Well, it's because a bunch of people found out that Hopper was still in it. Yeah, and they there were was like, a Let's David Harbour, yeah, yeah. Teaser. But man, oh man. Oh, it's what a show! It seems like it's a lot easier to get off topic when we're together. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very. Which is fine. Sometimes like, we I'm... just talk. Yeah. Uh, no, last night in Soho looks great. Also looking great. Speaking of things that are a little timey wimey bullshit, old, the new M. Night oh. Shyamalan Ooh. movie starring Alex Wolf, who I've got to say, we were talking about this earlier. Yeah. He's really grown as an actor. Alex yeah. Wolf was also in Hereditary, right? Yes. yes. Oh, oh, that he's performance. That performance is so good. Like, incredible. <laughs> Thriller, horror actor. Like, he's really good in this specific genre. He's I good think at he's making good in general. Bad. I, well, I haven't seen him in other genres recently, fair, I fair, will fair. say. Although, he did some voice acting a while ago for a Studio Ghibli film. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which was cool. But yeah, he was great in Hereditary. He looks great in Old. Absolutely. Old seems to be, because you can never tell from a Shyamalan trailer, the story of a couple families who like go to this island getaway and when they go to the beach they get trapped there and they rapidly age yeah there's a rule no children on the beach and they bring uh, their children you to know, the beach because people in horror movies happen. are smart right honestly based on the trailer I think the time thing would have happened regardless of if they brought their kids or not I think the rule is don't bring your kids because kids are easier to tell that they're aging quicker like adults uh, would age and you'd only start to yeah. notice when the wrinkles would but form but the kids gotta like kids, go it's through like puberty. puberty in 10 minutes you start to realize. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my photo booth does this thing where it'll freeze. It'll freeze. Yeah. No matter what's going on on my computer, though, like there's no other things going, and it's just frozen. Yeah. But it's fine. You want to you join my fine. screen? Here I am. I'm this <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah. Normally, when I'm editing the podcast, I have to take like the group view and yeah. zoom in on you whenever yeah. it freezes. I know. Ah, uh, so fun. Um. Anyway, old looks great. Uh, the last. Shyamalan movie that I saw that I really loved was Signs. Not Signs. Sorry. That's Signs a long is a really time old ago. one. I was like, damn, Logan. It's another, like, it's another tell me one how you word, really feel. It's another one word title. Uh, the Visit, which a lot of people panned, but I loved. Um, yeah. <laughs> the doesn't count in movie titles. I know, right? Um, you're watching uh, yeah. Servant. Yeah. yeah. Which you really love. Yeah. Yeah, I actually forgot about that show for a while. Did you finish season two? I believe I did. I You're believe like, I, I think did. so. I think I caught up. It was so long ago. But yeah, that's a Shyamalan project that uh, I, think it's, I was a fan of. It was really funny to watch Servant in particular because Shyamalan always has a thing about putting himself in all his projects in like a cameo. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so he played the delivery guy 
mm-hmm. in the first episode, and then I think they realized in like later episodes that the delivery guy had to come back. back because, and so they had to like yeah. hide his face. It would be like someone would walk up and put down a box, and they'd be like, "Oh, thanks, Jerry," yeah. as he walked away, and it was like, "It's that's because it's Shyamalan, yeah. and they couldn't get him couldn't back get him for back. this." Yeah, yeah, great show. Really solid show. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm Apple looking. TV with the hits. Yeah. Apple TV. I gotta, good. I gotta get on the Apple TV. You do gotta get on. I haven't have watched Apple a TV. single show. They do. Yeah. They do great work. Yeah, no, check it out. They're man. they're Emmy winners. Yeah, Golden Globe winners. I yeah, think, too. Mm-hmm. For the morning show. Ted Lasso morning and show. Ted Lasso. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ted Lasso, bro. You gotta watch all these shows. They're so good. Apple TV. We're we're really big supporters I'm of you guys. I'm watching you guys. Yeah. I have a lot of Apple products. Uh, Okay, all right. We get it. Okay. The Mac, my AirPods. Sponsors. We're looking for sponsors that maybe aren't about our testicles. That would be that would be great. Hey man, listen. Every guy has to maintain their bush. Okay. Just for some. That's why this podcast isn't sponsored. (laughs) Just for some backstory. This we've gotten. Four? All, we've gotten like four offers for sponsors for this podcast, and they're all from Smooth Balls. Now, this is not <laughs> a dig at Smooth Balls. A dig, and this is not an ad. This is not an ad, we've got. This is not an ad. This is not pro, this is not con. We're just saying. We're just acknowledging. We're just saying it happened. <laughs> a lot. And I'm not going to say the name of the company again. <laughs> That's it. We said it once. Maybe we should we take the it. offer. What's wrong with what's wrong I don't with know, man. what's wrong know. with I don't want to be what's wrong with 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 Utse Utsme Alsme? I just don't feel like every week on Zoom having to be like, "Hey Jacob, have you uh, trimmed your bush lately?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I haven't. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> Wait, smooth ball. All right, all right, all right. It's not an ad. We promise. You're not giving us money. <laughs> we don't want you. <laughs> we do want Last Night in Soho and Old. Two movies we're very excited to see. Yes. Uh, Was we, there another one? Another uh, trailer? Yeah, I showed you guys. Uh, oh, Move to Heaven. Move to Heaven, which is oh. a new Korean TV show for Netflix. Yeah. Which looks really beautiful. It looks it does. really sweet. Uh, looks uh, for those that have not seen the trailer, I highly recommend you watch it. Mm-hmm. It is about, uh, and I believe he's autistic, definitely neurodivergent. Uh, teenager who works with his father at a trauma cleaning service. Uh, trauma, cle- trauma cleaning services, of course, are companies that clean up uh, people's homes that have passed away that their families just like can't handle cleaning up the house, uh, whether that was because of a homicide or a suicide or some, some traumatic reason that the house can't be cleaned by the actual family. Um, and so these people come in and clean it. The father passes away, and so uh, the teenager's brother has to come be his guardian and help him with this cleaning service it's their journey of like becoming brothers and working at the service uh the tagline is uh every death tells a story uh which i think is just really beautiful uh highly recommend you check out that trailer um subtitles hey americans we got to get used to reading them there's a lot of content that's really good being made in foreign countries yeah, yeah. it's okay you guys can read don't get we, over don't it. we basically watch like most of our netflix stuff with subtitles anyway i normally don't but you know when i watch with jacob i do it doesn't bother me all that much anymore for some reason i tend to turn them on more with like tv shows than movies fair i don't know why hmm. fair 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 I think there's more details being thrown at us in, like, TV shows that I feel like I have to constantly yeah. keep on top of where, like, it's a movie. I'm like, well, they're going to have to wrap it up, like, in the next hour or so, yeah. so. Speaking of putting subtitles on things, is there anything you guys have been putting subtitles on while you've been consuming content this week? Uh, Look at this kid. Hey, I got to get used to He's being the host. Yeah. I got to get used to being the host. <laughs> um, let me think. Uh... I mean, I feel like the subtitles are always on, but <laughs> I've been I've been watching some comedy movies made by the uh, Adam Sandler's company. Oh, ha- happy, happy happy Madora. Madison. Happy Madison. Happy Madison. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, they they're so funny, <laughs> and they put out some movies like in the past couple of years that I like. They kind of like went over my head. They were like those straight to well, Amazon. Like, well, it was like straight to Netflix. Netflix. It was Netflix or they they Netflix originals. Um, but like. I was like, oh, another comedy from Netflix? Man, I won't like that. It's a comedy, you know? But And I have no idea why I had that attitude toward it, because these are some great comedies. Um, the Wrong Missy. Okay. Starring David Spade. And, oh, no, I need to look up her Rob name. Schne- no, not Rob Schneider. It's a woman. The I know exactly wrong... who you're talking about. But oh, yeah? Well, I what's don't her know name her then? name. 
Okay. Um, the wrong Missy. I, her face is in my head. Yes. Um, it's Lauren Lapkus. There you go. So David Spade and Lauren Lapkus in The Wrong Missy. Uh, so good. Happy go, Happy Madison. Madison production. And also Murder Mystery starring Adam Sandler and oh, Jennifer yeah. Aniston. Um, so good. Oh, it's nice. like, it's like Murder on the Orient Express, but it's on a yacht. And it's comedy. And silly. It's gonna be... Well, it's it's so funny. I saw both of these movies over the past like weekend. And nice. I feel like we should watch them together just because they're so funny. I like that. Maybe we should uh, turn them on in the background. Yeah. yeah. So those are that's what I've been consuming that I would recommend this week. Um, I'm all caught up on my podcast and you I, did start a series that I recommended. You started the did. circle. Oh yeah. Okay. So Logan recommended the circle on Netflix and I started it. Yeah. This past week. And it's not bad. I thought I would hate it just based on right? the concept. Of you're the like show. concept. This sounds so dumb. And then you start watching it and you're like, this is actually kind of good. Exactly. It's pretty good guys it's like just good entertainment like i like rooting for someone yeah, yeah. it's kind of yeah. cool watching like a game show where you're gonna be like oh i like you yeah they got me to watch the first episode of season two and i was like all right like i, I was into it i can't lie i don't know yeah. if i'm gonna continue like watching right, right. That's fine. but it was yeah. interesting for sure it's one of those shows that you were like i can watch this yeah yeah there's some reality shows that i turn on and i'm just like no mm. too hot to handle was that for me I turned on... Yes, no, I couldn't do that. I watched the first, like... I watched the first full episode, and I was like, I don't know if I can do this. And then I started the second episode and was like, nope, nope. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like that because, you know, they're so separate. In yeah. Circle, so. And it's also like, I feel like Too Hot to Handle was one of those, like, let's spring a reality show on these people. Yeah. And Circle, especially season two, they, like, come in with strategy and, like, yeah. they're ready to play. Yeah. 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 So that's what I've been consuming content-wise. Yeah, uh, I haven't been consuming much, to be honest. I'm You've like been a busy boy. I've been a busy boy. You know, I've, I only have a certain amount of time to like chill, and even in that chill time, I have to like fill out paperwork and like do stuff and other stuff. But I mean, I have been consuming stuff. You know, I I I'm still watching Fun House on YouTube. Though they've been like uh, a, a good comedy gaming group that I've been watching since high school. Yeah crazy yeah um and so i'm still watching them i'm listening to their funhouse podcast and their film house podcast which is their movie specific podcast kind of funnies uh p.s i love you and ign's beyond podcast which are both like playstation centric podcasts uh they talk about all the latest playstation news it's really interesting to hear these company names like kind of funny and funhouse and to think about like the amount of change that we've seen some of these companies go through and to think like what is black wolf's gonna look like in like five yeah. years Ooh. well it's interesting because kind of funny yeah. is run by greg miller who used, used to, be to be huge on ign yeah, like yeah. he was like the ign guy and then he left and now he has his own, his own thing company, which yeah. is also huge yeah nice. um, bought by rooster teeth which yeah. was then bought by an even bigger company exactly yeah. and same thing with ign's beyond podcast hosted by jonathan dornbush he talks about how like of like like four years ago he was just like a college kid listening to the beyond podcast and now and like he runs now it. he's hosting it yeah that's amazing yeah um so I, i've been listening to those for like a long time but it, like since i'm not like really like consuming anything like hardcore uh you this watched monica around. this past month uh, yeah we, we, we talked, talked about, about that last week yeah but we didn't want to give spoilers because it had just happened um yeah. Yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, catching my boy Logan up on it. And then we've played some D&D. We've played some D&D. Um, you know, I'm still was still playing Elite Dangerous, still playing No Man's Sky, still playing Apex, downloaded the F1 2020 game. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean... Woo-woo! Content! <laughs> content before I leave for a whole summer and I miss out on other content that I want to watch. That will catch you up on. Yeah gonna miss Loki. I'm gonna miss Oh I'm gonna miss Scarlet Escape Room. Witch. I'm gonna miss Scarlet Witch. Sorry, um Black Widow. Black Widow. It's okay, Scarlet Johansson. Black, That's yeah, probably yeah, what yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm uh yeah, I'm gonna miss you know whatever. I, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna be aware of its existence. I just don't know if I'll be able to like watch it. Consume oh, man. it. Like me and Logan. I know. Yeah, man. I Every know. week a new episode know. catching. But oh. it's okay because I'll get home and then I'll be like, leave me alone binge. for a week while I obsessively binge everything that I've missed out on. Play a bunch <laughs> of games. Play a bunch of games. Yeah, I already have some games on pre-order. So like future content, I'll be consuming Scarlet Nexus. Uh, Neil, the world ends with you. 
uh, Resident Evil Village, uh, Death Loop, like um, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I have like a bunch of games that I've been holding off on getting because I don't want to get too into it and then have to leave it for. Persona Five Strikers. Yeah. Persona Five Strikers. Yes, it's a game that came out before, but like I said, I've been waiting to like, really off, get up yeah. on it. Yeah. I'm gonna be sad to to not have my 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 content meals. <laughs> but Logan, what have you been consuming recently? Uh this week this week has been a good week for consumption for me. Uh, started Mind Hunter with my mom. Uh, I watched I think the first season of it by myself, but my mom is a huge David Fincher fan, and I know she loves Jonathan Groff. Uh, so to be able to show her that series has been really fun. We just finished episode two, so we've met Ed Kemper, who is one of my favorite characters on the whole show. He's super creepy. Um, and the actor who plays him does a phenomenal job. I've been playing more Apex. I started playing Persona 5 Royal, which is a very fun game. When I turn it on uh, autoplay, it just feels like I'm watching an anime sometimes, so I'll just like sit back on my phone and be like, oh yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, I gotta say something. And I'll say something. <laughs> put the controller down. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. You've already beaten yeah, I beat, the, I beat the whole game. The so base like, game, and Royale is like a, an expanded, new and enhanced like redux yeah with game. some additional scenes yeah. so when the director's a new, cut yeah when a new scene pops up i'm like oh i Ooh. haven't seen this yeah, yet. yeah. <laughs> that one's definitely a lot of fun uh <laughs> it's funny because i'm also watching critical role at the same time uh and matthew mercer who's the dm of critical role plays yusuke in persona 5 royal so every time i watch per play persona 5 i'm like oh there's matt mercer again Critical Role, of course, Campaign 2 just ended. They have officially, oh, officially? finished. Wow. They had their last episode like two days ago. What's the What's the final number of the season? I think they were at 153, but I'll have to look. Wow. Yeah, long campaign. I mean, we're, long, we're what, 80, 80, 84, 85 in, in Order of the Dawn? In one, yeah, in Order of the Dawn, we're at like 85. It's crazy to think that we played that many sessions. Yeah. Um, it's in, crazy to think I'll miss all these sessions. <laughs> In my D and D game, which I just started running using the same campaign as uh, Critical Role, I'm in it. I'm playing with uh, Jeremy and collective member Michael Jorge. They had a little drinking contest, which they lost, unfortunately. Uh, they had a little fight with some escaped prisoners. They started investigating some stuff. I yeah. at least won my show showdown. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try and keep people updated on that that little D and D with just like little snippets. We'll talk about some cool stories from that. We didn't have anything particularly exciting happen in this session. It's kind of just starting things off. But I am excited to like share some of the things we're doing. I downloaded a bunch of games that I'm excited to play. Batman uh, Arkham Asylum, which is an older one that I never actually beat. Um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Listening to Olivia Rodrigo, who I forgot to promote last week. Uh, Good For You is a banger. Uh, I really love it. And then just more Critical Role. I'm trying to catch up on it. Trying to trying to finish Campaign 2 before they eventually come out with Campaign 3, you know? It's going to be an exciting time. And then I'm doing a bunch of prep for, for Black Wolves, so I'm staying staying busy with that. I got my vaccine, Yay! so I had a couple days bedridden where I was just like laying on my couch just... <laughs> Enjoying TV, watching Jujutsu Kaisen with Jeremy, which is a great anime. I recommend it for anybody who who maybe isn't necessarily an anime fan. Yeah, uh, it's like the hottest thing right now, and I'm it's not, pretty hot. I'm not necessarily an anime person. You could definitely not call me a weeb. Um, but Jujutsu Kaisen is the kind of show that I really dig. It's the kind of thing that I really enjoy watching, so um, check it out. I feel like I've already said Apex, but I'm going to say it again. Jeremy, Mike, and I got two wins over the course of the last couple days, so that was very exciting. Uh, Road to platinum, baby! Road to platinum, baby! <laughs> Climbing those ranks! Um, we're very we're very excited about the fun we're having. Um, yeah, that's really that's the content I'm consuming. I'm hoping to watch some more while I'm up here. We've got some uh, some Oscar winners that we're hoping to catch oh, while we've yeah. got a little bit of time. That's yeah. right, that's right. Uh, but we will be consuming more in the next week uh, as as Jacob and I take over as the the hosts of the podcast. That's and right. Bring yeah. in some guests. That's right. Once again, if you'd like to be a guest on the Black Wolves podcast, hit us up, and uh, we'll we chat. will chat because we need we need a third. Yeah. Just the two of us. Logan and I are looking for a third. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not the first that. time that yeah. I've heard them say that. No, I'm kidding. It is. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, we we would love to have you on the show. Let's talk. Let's have fun. We're gonna yeah. miss you, Jeremy. We are gonna miss you, Jeremy. Hey. I'm gonna miss you guys too. Oh, this, is, this is your podcast, yeah, man. Look at all us on one screen. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Alright, well, and with that, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. Peace uh, out, Jeremy. I'm Jeremy Suarez. I'm Jacob Wade. And I'm Logan Riley Bruner. And it's goodbye, only for now. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta. Alright, let me, yeah, get the, excuse get me. Get the fuck out. Oh. Oh.
Jeez, all right, fine. Yeah. Well, I guess I got it. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, dude. So, yeah. Um, Did he give you topics for the next couple weeks? He didn't give. Is he still here? Jeremy. Jeremy. You need you, bud.